instruction, let's say. Cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Right? And then you're back into whatever you're doing. Um, I think the most important thing about triple cha chas, whether you're going to do them forwards or backwards or you're going to do them side to side, is that you maintain your movement in one direction. Okay? So the only thing that's leading her to continue to cha 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 is the fact that she's still moving. <laughs> so you want to be really, that's what I'm looking for, really direct, really concise. We're continuing to move this direction. And we're continuing to move this direction until he tells me otherwise, right? <laughs> if he pauses, I'm going to do a break because there's more space there, right? So if you're doing the forward and backward ones, there's a little bit of rotation there because he's in front of me. But there's also the fact that I continue to move, right? He twists me so I can't do my normal back break. I have to continue to cross. And I'm also continuing to move. So the same thing with the side to side ones. You have to continue to move. And make sure that your angles are, are right. So I, what, what's really going to confuse your girl is if you do your hand to head here, and you do this one, and then you're like, oh, am I going forwards or backwards? And, and then you go here, and then you're like, OK, yeah, we're supposed to go backwards here. Right? That's going to throw her off. So this is one of those patterns where you have to be really direct about what you plan on doing. Because it's fast, and her feet are all tied up together. <laughs> so I think that those are going to be the things that help you guys pull this pattern off the most, are keeping your angles really obvious, keeping your momentum, and changing your handles, your frame. Mm -hmm. Would you do it one more time? 